Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus ZenBook laptop. This one is a specific one, it's an Asus ZenBook UX31 e model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace your battery. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or it's just discharging really quickly, this video is for you. I'll try to get the link for the new batteries, I'll leave the link in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Also, I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using and again, the same tools that I use is in the video description. The tool that I really like to use is the iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are made out of S2 class steel bit. That means they are really tough and steel and they will last you many years. All right, we're going to use a torque number five from this tool set and make sure you power off the laptop. Do not leave it in standby or anything like that. Power it off completely. And on the bottom cover here, we're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, except the two screws made in the back. These are the longest screws. So we're going to go ahead and remove these two screws at the back and keep them in a different pile. And now we're going to remove the rest of the screws and keep them in a different pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comments area i appreciate that all right once we remove all the screws all you want to do you want to put your fingers at the back cover here and bring it upward and right away you can see this humongous battery that they have in this model is a 7.4 volt 6840 milliamp hour battery 50 watt hour. These are really big batteries. To remove the battery, first you're gonna disconnect it. For disconnect, if you wanna pull this flip thing straight towards the ceiling. So bring it upward towards the ceiling and disconnect the jack right there. Next, we're gonna grab a Phillips number zero and we're gonna remove the single screw in the middle of the battery. And we're gonna remove one by this speaker and one right away on the other side. All the three screws are the same size, so again, don't worry about mismatching them. Now you can grab the battery, bring it up, uh, wiggle it around a little bit. In this side, you don't want to yank it up, you can break it. So what I use, a guitar pick, and I'll stick it right underneath so I can lift it up and bring it upward. And now I can just remove the battery very easy. This battery is a one, two, three, four cell battery. So I don't know what kind of array configuration it has. So pretty much you have a really nice MacBook type uh, motherboard and a big battery just like a MacBook. Pretty much they copy the MacBook. I will say this is a different version of MacBook also, but in a Windows format. So the model for this battery, it is a C22-UX31. Again, I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description. Let's say that you got a new battery, all you want to do simply. Also, if you want to know where your BIOS battery is, it's right over here. It comes with a double-sided tape on the motherboard. You can just pull the jack and buy a new one and put it in there. All right. So put the battery right on top. Make sure this holds go in place. You see, this battery is really old, so you see this corner it just broke off. Don't worry about it. All you care about is the middle battery in middle screw. You can put the rest of the screw. This is just to hold it in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Now just remember it's very important once you get the new battery in, is that you don't want to power it on right away. So right now I'm put the jack in straight in. Make sure you don't move, move it around, just go straight down. And the last thing down here would be to just Put the bottom cover on. Just remember, once you got the new battery in, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off and leave the charger connected for at least four to five hours with the laptop being off. And after four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop and you want to discharge the laptop slowly by putting some videos with a screen brightness down to 50% and let it drain the battery down to 30 or 20%. 
And after that, you want to power off the laptop and again, leave it charging for five to six hours. That initial charge and discharge it is very important for the new battery. Uh, so it knows it's max and it's low. So I recommend you guys, if you want your battery to last longer, to do that once every two months. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.